and only a handful of marines left, but it might still be enough to take out these mutalists if he's not careful. Now there's only two mutas left, now only one. Here comes a couple more links streaming in. <laughs> one more tank goes down, and now Fluffy Jr. is going to have to back off <laughs> with his uh, gigantic army here. One medevac, two marines, a marauder, and a siege tank. But look at what he's got back home. Still quite a bit left for Fluffy Jr. Prada still not too bad off, uh, but does need to take another base. Taking down that Marauder. And uh, just <laughs> the sense of freedom now for the Zerg player is probably pretty extraordinary. Making two more queens. This drone's probably headed off to take this third base up here. And a double expansion wouldn't be too bad floating that many minerals. Uh, that we do see the Terran player moving out and trying to secure this front third expansion, knowing that there are mutalists on the field. And Prattle poking in to check and see if the third base is over here. And, of course, not going to see anything. But really well played so far by Fluffy Jr. Prattle going to be able to take the siege tank uh, for just a couple of uh, Zerglings, so that's not a horrible trade for him. And Prada is going to take this front fourth base. I like that a lot. Still has a lot of minerals, uh, but really gas the limiting resource. You do see the resources lost completely uneven, uh, but no workers killed, and that's a very important number for the Zerg player. So no workers killed during that uh, push. We do see the inf uh, pathogen glands upgrade for the infestors, as well as a bunch of mutalisks. So Prada switching up some tech and getting some of those higher tech units. Not going to get handling Baneling Muta for very long. And really, both players just exchanging possession of the watchtower. You just keep one-upping each other, and eventually somebody's entire army is going to just move to the watchtower. The mutalists moving across the map, there's only seven of them so far. Uh, with one more on the way, eight mutas is a pretty decent number to begin harassment. But this late into the game, not going to do a whole lot. We do see just a whole ton of marines and tanks here. Uh, and as well as the missile turrets, nicely placed around the bases. Looks like only five missile turrets, so being a, a little bit cautious with the money. And the mutalist's moving in, and they'll be able to at least cancel this third base. It is canceled. The mutalist just flying around. We do see the move out now for Fluffy, uh, Fluffy Jr. The, these tanks are by themselves. I don't think he spotted it. Prada going to be able to catch them as the things get on right on top of the siege tanks. All of them will go down. The mutalist's uh, essentially dying for nothing there. Uh, but there's only Marines left. Uh, one of the siege tanks was salvaged into the medevac, but uh, the siege tank count reduced hugely there by Prada, and that'll put him a little bit better in the next engagement. He'll be able uh, to get just a ton of banelings and take out the marines uh, without the siege tank support. But still trailing by 70 supply, and Fluffy Jr. in a great position. Uh, we do see another, uh, two more siege tanks moving up, and uh, just a lot of production from the Terran players. We look back in here. Uh, producing medevacs two at a time. I'm not sure I like this. Uh, one starport with a reactor tends to do better than two starports without uh, any add-ons. And now we see a counterattack. The Lings and Banelings will be able to catch uh, this little group of units unguarded. And they get the full surround. Actually, these Marines are doing a really nice job cleaning them up. The two tanks go down, only firing one shot between them. But now the Terran player up into the third base. I'm not sure Prada is going to be able to hold this. Uh, a handful of banelings as well as uh, two infestors. There go all the banelings, though. None of them will be able to connect. And the infestors sacrificing themselves as well. Uh, so nothing happening there. Nothing happening at the front. Now Fluffy Jr. by 120 supply. And probably at a huge economic advantage. 60 SCVs to 27 uh, drones. And Fluffy Jr. just will be able to clean this up from here. Another counterattack from Prada. This is probably the last attempt to do any real damage. And of course the Marines and Siege Tanks already here will be able to clean this up. And there's the GG from Prada. So thank you to Fluffy Jr. for posting this replay on our cast. It, I hope you enjoyed the cast. And uh, we'll post the VOD shortly. I'm going to take a quick break and uh, find you another game. It'll probably be, again, from our cast. It. Uh, follow my, please follow my Twitch TV channel. Uh, Twitch TV slash Maristomatic. My YouTube channel is youtube.com slash MaristomaticSC. And you can email any feedback you have to gmail.com slash er, <laughs> MaristomaticSC at gmail.com. So thank you. I'll get another uh, game up.